In this tutorial, we'll talk about different types of feature classes. Um, from the catalog, go to the folder lab1 and in the US underscore data, geodatabase, uh, find uh, three layers, states, roads, and cities. And go ahead and open them and turn on the cities uh, layer. This is an example of point type feature class. Um, if you look at all the locations, they are points. Um, uh, or, and they, these are the locations of different cities in the United States. Um, so if you turn off the cities and turn on the roads, you will see uh, lines. And roads, as they are linear features, would be represented by line type uh, feature classes. Um, in a similar manner, if you turn on the states, you will see that these are two-dimensional objects, um, also called polygons, because these are area uh, features and are represented by polygon feature classes. So that was the description of three different types of feature classes. Now let's look at this uh, navigation button called Identify. You can click this and this can be used to find information about any given polygon or any other feature in the, in the layers. For example, if we click uh, Nevada, uh, a box appears and that gives us information about this particular polygon that is Nevada and some of the other descriptions about this uh, feature. Uh, similarly, you can click other states and get information about those features. Um, in a similar manner, if you click um, cities and from the pull down menu in the identify window, uh, select cities, you can click different points and get information about these cities. For example, we can click here um, and um, see Searchlight, for example, uh, which is in Southern Nevada. Go ahead and turn on Roads Feature Class and use the Identify tool to look at the uh, different uh, inf look at the information about roads. Uh, now we'll turn this off and zoom into the Southern Nevada region. And let's uh, look at the Las Vegas area. And now we're going to use the Measure button. Uh, this is a tool that can be used to measure distance or area. Uh, so we're going to use it to measure distance and we can select uh, the units that we want to use. In this case, we'll use miles. And in order to measure the distance, select the first point. So we'll select Las Vegas area and click it. And take the pointer to the second point where you want to measure the distance. So if you look into the window, you will see how it shows the distance. So for example, um, to Henderson area, it's 3.23 miles. Uh, you can click it there and move uh, to a next vertex which will give the distance of this segment and the total distance that you have traveled from the starting point. Um, and this way you can look at, uh, measure the distances. In a similar manner you can also measure areas. So that uh, kind of gives us a uh, uh, an idea about what are the different types of features, how we can get information about them using the identify button, and also how can we measure uh, between different points and um, if we have to measure area, how can we do that. So that completes this tutorial um, and we'll talk about uh, different uh, ways to change the looks of these features in the next tutorial.